Well, thank you. That, that was a beautiful performance. Very exciting. And I think you understand the, the piece very well. I, uh, in a way, I have very little to say. And in a way, I have a great deal to say. Um, uh, on the musical level, I think the main thing is we think that we need to, to uh, hear more the big picture. I think that you're focusing very much on, uh, on details that you love or details that, you were, uh, that your teacher suggested to bring out. And, uh, uh, and that's wonderful. But uh, keep on listening to the, to the balance of the whole piece. What, which part is the strongest? Mm -hmm. you know? And I, I, I don't suppose that, that we have to talk about which part is the strongest. I think you understand it pretty well. But you need to uh, control that, that side of it. Um, there, I used the word control. By gosh, uh, your your big problem is control. Uh, I would like to start. I, I I don't know if if ever a class on this F minor ballade started in this place, but I'd like you to start. Uh, this is, of course, anybody who's played the piece knows that we have control issues here. Uh, but most people, just in the way of fingers and things like that, they would say, this is not a hard place. But yours was a mess. It was about the worst place in the piece. <laughs> um, uh, uh, where so many places that are, uh, that are in most respects uh, harder were, were so Beautifully done, really wonderful playing. So let's, uh, uh, why don't you start here with, uh, uh, with, that, with that chord and let me hear you play two, three, four, five chords there. Well, do, but do it. <laughs> yeah. Now, let me, let me see. Stretch your hand really out. Stretch it out. Let me see if you can take a C with, with your pinky mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the E with the thumb. Yeah, not quite yet. Not quite, not quite yet, but I think that it will grow. Um, uh, take, uh, yeah, so show me how you do it now. Uh-huh. Um, my own suggestion would be uh, uh, quietly um, uh, put the pedal down and uh, relax the hand and try to do it as, as, I, as I showed you now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, l let me see now with 5 3 1. Uh huh. Uh, try that with both hands with the 5 3 1. Yeah, and now with five, two, one. Yeah, which feels better to you? Probably three. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, why don't you change to three then? Uh, and um, we're hoping to just the, the the arpeggio since it's very so very very soft, mm -hmm. it can be fast. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Just quiet and, and, and uh, practice it enough, practice it enough uh, so that you're not any more nervous about it than necessary. Um, so uh, do your best with that one and then continue on, continue that passage. No, well, do, do, do it the new way. Bram, bram. Yeah, okay. Next.
Yeah, this is, I think this is, yeah, this is not your fault. Um, yeah, you, uh, you, you focus well, and you, you do basically a good job, but you need to practice it more. You need to think about, how am I going to be able to control these chords? Uh, um, it's good to practice it on many different pianos because every piano is different. Um, uh, and you, uh, so let, let me see, start from the second chord now since we don't have the arpeggio. Yeah, uh, okay, what happened? Oh yeah, I missed. Yes, uh, uh, feel, feel that there, that all of the fingers are equally engaged. Uh, uh, play this time the, the same chord. Play mm -hmm. the chord piano, not, not pianissimo. Okay. okay. Yeah, okay. Now, was that really, that was pretty soft. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's good enough for pianissimo. Uh, yeah. I, I, I believe that since this doesn't involve any of this kind of thing, mm -hmm you may not have realized how important it is to have this under control, really. And under control means you practice <laughs> yeah. until you can do it. Mm -hmm. um, take it now not any softer than what you did there. Okay? okay? Mm -hmm. So about piano. And uh, start from the first chord, do it the new way, mm -hmm. and keep on going. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. What happened? Forgot to use the pedal. <laughs> Why? <laughs> that was an accident, sorry. <laughs> uh, um, and the, uh, now, of course, uh, teachers, you know, we're, we're an awful bunch of people, really. We're standing right there. And going, yeah. okay. uh, uh, but, but you know, when you're sitting at the piano, you're the boss. You know, so uh, uh, the, 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 the coach or master class giver or whatever says play, you play when you are ready. Okay. At that little moment, it's really in your control. Um, nobody will be angry with you. <laughs> um, uh, let me see it again. And be ready and then play. Okay, uh, pay, pay more attention and play again. Oh yeah, okay, 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 I, f I forgot. It is again this, uh, uh, I must apologize for this, for, for the condition of our pianos. It's really uh, sad. So uh, now you know a little bit more about that E than before. Uh, try to guess how will you need to do it and try to get it. Okay, well, as good as can be expected. Why don't you play it on this piano? <laughs> yes. Can I have a couple of uh, male students, preferably, and we're going to move these pianos around. There are many ways that you need that you can practice this kind of thing. You uh, you you want it to be perfectly under control, so you're very very careful. Very, but you also want it to seem almost. This should feel almost like a like an improvisation, like it was written. <laughs> That would have, that, nobody would have thought that that was strange if that was the way it always had been. But here is a little interpolation, of, a little bit of a cadenza, a little bit of, of dreamy sounds. And so they should come along very much, uh, very much not like that. 
Um, and so, so you so you need to practice that. Um, let's go in the in the beginning. There, uh, I heard so many things. I thought that they were they could have been your ideas, but I thought more likely they were a teacher. And very good ideas, but they, sh they shine out like ideas. They shouldn't be ideas. They should be just, oh, yeah, he, he plays. He shows these beautiful things. Um, uh, so uh, try, try to play it in a, in a natural way. It could be that that uh, E was, uh, was contributing to that also. <laughs> Let me hear that from the beginning. Yeah, it's, al it's already better, but I would like to suggest, uh, I want you to play the right hand, and I will play a, a, a rough approximation of the, of the left hand. But you don't listen to me. You, uh, you go and play the, pay attention only to the right hand. out pretty well. <laughs> Shall we go on the stage together? <laughs> um, uh, but what I, wh what I hope to prove with that is that you really, really have to pay attention to how the soprano wants to be shaped. Uh, it's lovely when the alto comes in, but keep things in proportion. Um, uh, because, because when you pay attention mostly to the soprano, then it all holds together as one, one thing. Okay? Good. Um, start, uh, start here after the fermata, uh, and not too slow. Not too slow. Uh, let it move along. Um, uh, andante con moto. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, he... You know, many times we look at, at, at the markings of, of clever and great composers. He, he was thinking of he wanted to warn me, don't go too slow. <laughs> uh, so let it, let it flow. Uh, I'm sure that you practice uh, various ways. You practice sometimes separate hands. And you practice, of course, slowly. Sometimes you practice with pedal, sometimes without. Um, uh, there are many, many things to learn from, from good practicing. And uh, I think the most important thing that people do not realize about practicing is that it is uh, so important uh, for musical reasons. To do these, every way that you practice can have also a musical um, purpose. Uh, let me hear the uh, let me hear the soprano only. So it means the right hand only. Um, uh, it's not exactly easy, but it's not so hard as playing the two hands. Let me. Hear, it should be. It should go pretty easily. Don't go too slow. And uh, just let it, and with pedal, of course. Yeah. Okay, try. Uh, It'll play out a little bit more. Yeah, and I'm snapping my fingers on the beats, of course. That should be happening in your head. I hope it is. 
that you hear the, the two beats of the 6-8 time. Um, okay. Um, very good. Let, let's start from the same place now with the left hand, but don't let the left hand distract you. Uh, follow the right hand. The, uh, maybe you need to play the right hand a, again a little bit more open still. Okay? Again. Yeah, and now you're discovering that indeed you did not play open enough and the right, the right hand was too, was too soft. The left hand came in too loud, so you had yeah. to play the right hand louder, and so forth. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, give it enough sound. So, uh, and uh, what I'm telling you now, maybe, is a little bit like the kind of thing, how should, how should I be practicing this? You know? Uh, you, uh, you play the piece. You, you know it. You know it uh, your, your memory is confident. You don't have memory problems, generally, do you? No. OK. Um, uh, your memory is confident, uh, you, you, you have some problems someplace, but basically you know the piece. Uh, so when you sit down to practice like this, it's going to be to refine and to uh, perfect what you have. So let's start on that C again. Um, even say to yourself, it's mezzo piano. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, d uh, don't don't stop before the the bass notes. Um, okay. Da 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 da. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, fr uh, from the same place again, from the same place, and let it let it flow. If you should play it now a little too fast, that's not so bad. Okay. We we all know what we're doing. Sometimes you say, "Oh, that's too fast. I I, I don't want to do that." Sometimes you say, "Well, that's faster than it should be in the." original in the, in, the, in the final version, but let me do it that way because. Why, why would you want to play faster than the tempo in your practicing? Uh, mm, to just get the flow, maybe? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, I was going to say it's not a very hard question, and yeah. you, you immediately saw it. Yes, yes. The f flow becomes a non-problem when you play faster. Uh, and uh, if flow is a problem when you, when you have to play slower, nothing wrong with practicing a little bit faster mm -hmm. to get used to that easy flow. Learn how to do it slower. That's, after all, how we use slow practicing. When you can play something slow, but you can't play it fast, then you play it slow until you can do it better and you go faster. Mm -hmm. So this is the other way around. Let's take it. Yes, yes. Very good, very good, very good. What I would say now, I wasn't going to go into this right now, but now I will, because in every other way it's really good. There was a certain amount of good luck in it also, though, um, that you touch the, the, the keyboard. When we, when we play this kind of soft music, uh, the listener should feel as though it's being played the way you really played it, but the, what you have to do really is not not really so casual, you know, and hope for the best. Um, uh, a little bit more focus in the hands. Um, let me hear you play the, the, the left hand alone here a little bit, and uh, just good good controlled playing, not too, not too soft, yeah. but not too loud, of course. Yeah, OK. Right, yeah. <laughs> um, he, he stopped for a moment because he takes one of those uh, left hand notes that went right where he stopped. He takes it with the right hand. And suddenly he wasn't quite ready for that. Um, yeah, excellent, excellent. Um, I think you need to, you, you, you need to uh, be always aware when you're practicing of what you're trying to accomplish. Because it seems like, it appears to me you practice very well. 
you, you guys listen to this because it's a, a very, it's very good practicing too. Not only very good playing. Um, uh, do, do it one more time, those, especially those of you who are sitting on, the, uh, on this left. Uh, watch his hand and Dom Piro Polo. Yes, 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 good. Um, Now, can we, can we do it from there? Uh, and I want you to keep on going into there. Don't slow down too much here. Okay. A little bit, but not too much. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, only the left hand? No, oh, okay. both. Flowing. Yeah, not slower than that, even. Um, phrasing is so important, and we have to phrase. Meantime, though, it's one piece. And uh, one phrase ends, and, or, or rather, one phrase finishes and blends into the next music. And we want to keep it always, always moving like the good telling of a story. Okay, can you take it from there? Um, uh, what is it? Yeah. Don't play. It, 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 go, it goes to there. And once you've gone there, mm -hmm. then you can continue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From a uh, sure. No, no, no. You're taking you 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 take too much time going to the A flat and not enough time here. It, there's no, it's not a real end, but this is a problem that comes up all the time in music. Uh, it, it's one of the most basic problems about phrasing. Uh, because this, this low G flat, that is the end of the first phrase and the beginning of the second phrase. The little trick that you have to understand is that ending happens before beginning. Uh, if you say, well, it has to be both, then you're just letting yourself in for problems and confusion. Let it end, and then before it gets cold, you keep on going. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't take so much time there. Come on, just, just, just move, move, move down. There. Do, do what you, you want to do it with, with, um, with timing. Do it with, just with dynamics. Okay. Starting now, not too soft, so you ha can make a good diminuendo. Yeah. Okay. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. This is very good. My my choice would be much simpler than that. Just uh, Just, just let it, let it keep on going. Let it keep on going. I, th I think that's maybe it's one of the uh, very basic problems in in playing music. How much to phrase? 
No? Because this part seems so cloud covered and so mysterious and so foggy. I think that um, open expressivity doesn't really belong here. You know? You see what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I think that probably we better uh, uh, skip through the, 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 the piece a little bit mm -hmm. more. Um, can, I, can I hear you play from here? Uh, accelerando, but uh, not, not prestissimo. Okay. okay? Yeah. Um, so from here and, and keeping on going. No, no. Yeah, again, again, again. Sorry, yeah. Yes, okay. Uh, and here is, is Dolce. Here, Chopin said piano. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that it's really a lot easier to make this phrase work if we're not too soft here. Um, this was very uh, uh, hot and, and um, excited. Uh, uh, so, cut, you know, uh, make a diminuendo down to at the most, uh, at, at the softest mezzo piano, okay. Me mezzo something. Okay. Uh, can you go from there? So here is basically forte and coming down. Okay. Is that an okay place to start? Sure. Show me, show me how what happens if you try to play it together. Uh -huh. um, okay, look at you can almost reach it. That means you can roll it faster. Okay. Uh, uh, and it is only the fifth finger that has the problem. The other, the other's fine. Yeah. <laughs> um, can you do it from? There. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, it, probably, but that sounds a little, that was a little uh, awkward, not too beautiful. Mm -hmm. What does this mean? You have to work. Yeah. You have to find the way that it sounds best to you to play it. Mm -hmm. um, I can't help noticing, though, that there would be nothing to prevent you from taking the B-flat with the left hand. Mm. Mm. That's true. That's true. <laughs> uh, so, um, and... Don't ever hesitate to do that kind of thing if you see that it makes, it makes what was either a, a very difficult or impossible problem into a non-problem. Uh, um, when we see in the music that a composer himself has suggested an arrangement, we always think, oh, well, that's the original. You know? But that was just the composer saying, well, this is the way I would do it if I were you. Mm -hmm. uh, and. Uh, Um, let me ask you about this, this phrase. Do you, um, this, do you, do you, count, do you hear the, the, the period count, the, uh, or, which is the first measure of the, of the period or the phrase? Um, I would like to, you to listen to it this way and see if it makes sense to you. Um, yeah. One.
Um, it will help you if you have a sense of the physical architecture of a phrase like that. Because otherwise, we're sort of dreaming, oh, this note is beautiful, oh, that note, uh, oh, I missed that note. Uh, and instead, you have, a, you have a, a core idea to follow, uh, and you hear how, how the big rhythm uh, connects in there. I wish we had more time, and we sort of don't, really. Um, Uh, don't play so, so, so slow here. Let, let me hear from there. From there. Here. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is something that I wanted to say to you, and, and now is a, a perfect time to say it. Uh, it's, uh, some voices are more important than others, and many, many, many students seem to play everything about the same, and to such students as them, we have to say, no, 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 you have to bring this out. You have to make these th much softer. You go, I would say, often too far in that direction. And uh, I, 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 want to, I want to be able to hear, I don't want you to play them loud, these 16th notes, but everything should be pretty much solidly in there. If you listen, the person who does this in the most natural way, I think, is Rubinstein. Mm -hmm. And there are, uh, of course, gazillions of Rubinstein recordings. And you always hear that pretty much. Right. He, he plays the beginning of, of the Polonaise. You know, <laughs> he plays the beginning of the Schubert B-flat. <laughs> And he said to himself, what's the secret of my sound? I always play mezzo forte. <laughs> uh, so play a little bit more mezzo forte here. All the, no all the notes ha are allowed their place in the sun. You want to translate? So let me hear this. I want to hear uh, some notes are louder than others, yes, mm -hmm. but let's hear them all. Yeah, yeah. You, play, you play much more musically than that usually. So don't change the, the timing and stuff like that. Yeah. Just, uh, just make a, a slightly more even spray, spread of, of, of strength. Okay. okay? One, two, three, one, two, three, one. Yeah, that was a little bit better. This is going to be harder for you than I thought. And I want you, uh, the moment that you, that you get off of the stage, you'll think, oh, well, that was easy. Why couldn't I do it then? But right now you're having, I'm going to give you one more shot at it. Um, uh, Instead of thinking that now I can't play the melody so strong and I have to pay attention, just remember that all of those notes are beautiful enough to have been included by Chopin in the piece. So play them all beautifully. If you want to uh, go about the same tempo, but if you want to go a little slower, that's fine. Yes, yes. Uh, um, let, let, me, let me do it for you. Um, and watch, I'm going to pedal a little bit less than you. You pedal fine, but uh, you're depending on the pedal a lot, and, and you're not playing legato in the right hand. Yeah. So, yeah.
you can always hear all the notes. They, 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 are, play, they are played with a little bit of solid, even the soft ones, a little bit of solidity and unhurriedly, especially when you're practicing slow. Yeah. Okay? Um, I think that's really... Uh, so there's an awful lot of the piece that we were not able to cover, but, but I think that that's a, 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 a very good start. Yeah, thanks. Okay, thank you. Beautiful.
Two years ago, I once played this piece and pre preparing this workshop, I restart playing this. I see, I see. You did the whole, the whole uh, fantasy? Actually, no, actually, just one movement. I see. Maybe it's about time that you start looking at the other ones. Um, 
But this is a very, uh, a very difficult piece, and it is uh, something that you, that, that you will need a lot more maturing uh, before it makes sense for you to, to play it. I'm, I, I, it sounds like you really all already have uh, used it in performing and auditioning. Uh, it's not really appropriate for you at this point, but it's done now. Um, Okay, the, uh, the, the, the uh, altogether, as I said, uh, when I interrupted you uh, in the beginning and, sa and said to start over again, I think that a lot of the time uh, accompanying things are too loud, and in other ways too, there's, not, there's often not a good balance between what is singing out and what is quiet. Um, Let me hear from the beginning, uh, and only thing I would say, uh, um, I think it, it just weakens the music to start playing suddenly here mezzo forte instead of fortissimo. Here is this fortissimo. This is for the for the whole uh, stretch of uh, of this eight measures eight measure phrase. I think it's not so up and down. The beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you understand something about this piece? You know that that Schumann is writing it in despair, despair of ever being able to be with his Clara. And if I were crying out in despair, I don't think I would do it like that. It just doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't connect right. Expression through sound, expression through dynamics, maybe I should say. Um, so let me hear the beginning again, uh, a sforzando, uh, uh, um, uh, enough sforzando so that it makes sense. I don't know how else to say it. Boom. Start. Yeah. In fact, now this is, uh, I don't know whether this is uh, uh, theater or really music, uh, but theater for yourself. Put the pedal down and, and play the, the G like that. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Start that, start that way. Start that way so that uh, uh, we know that something is, is, is going on. No, 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 I, louder. That's what I said before. It's too loud. I don't, I don't. I'm not interested. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, well, you, you, you tried, and it was softer, but it still doesn't sound good, does it? Uh, t t try it again. Yeah, yeah. The, the right hand, even though it's piano, but the right hand has to sing. The left hand has to stay under. Slow 
slow, 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 slow. Yeah, yeah. I didn't hear it. <laughs> Sing, singing out. Take it, take it from there. Uh, can you start? Yes, right. Yeah, more, 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 more. It, you, you, you won't, you, every piano is different. The way you have to play on this piano, if you did that on a very brilliant piano, it would sound awful, but you have to do it here because otherwise you don't get anything. You hear it's not too harsh a sound. This is also pretty good. Again. Did that sound okay? Yes. Did anybody think it was too harsh? Was that strong enough? No. I don't think so. Yeah, okay. Uh, gather your courage up in both hands and play that A loud. Yes. Yes, but it's an accent. Uh, I don't remember if he's written an accent, but it, it's it's clear clearly. And the left hand. I'm terribly sorry, teacher, because I had a lesson with him. And I specially told him. I see. <laughs> poor guy. Poor guy. Okay. <laughs> you should never go to workshops, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, well, uh, right now I'm working with you, and the best thing of all is that you got an, appear, uh, an opinion from a wonderful musician that it should be softer, and you're getting a, an imp opinion from another musician that it should be stronger. What is, who's got to decide? You. <laughs> right now, I'm deciding, but as soon as you're finished with this, this uh, um, performance, then you will turn this over in your mind, and you'll see, what do I want to hear? What do, how do I want it to sound? What seems to me the right way? Okay, so for now, enough sound. Yeah, a little more. Crescendo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not the same as crescendo. That was suddenly fortissimo. It's not that easy to control the dynamics there because it's got to go uh, from very, very quiet uh, uh, until a, a, a shattering um, fortissimo. Enough there, then this won't stick out so much. You understand? be good to, to mark that off a little bit. Um. Take a little bit a little bit more time there. Uh, uh, and these practice them a little bit. They should be good. They, uh, they can easily d descend into uh, So try to have them in good control. Um, I, I won't ask you to play that again. Um, in fact, why don't you why don't you take it right from the downbeat there?
yeah, yeah. Um, now, my wife said something about, about piano before. Don't forget that you judge the sound in, fa in actual fact, you judge two ways. You judge with your ears, you also judge with your muscles. How hard am I playing this piano? You know? And uh, some, you know, you, you have to, uh, the, the, this piano is, uh, a, has a rather dull sound, and you have to compensate for that. Uh, the, these notes, uh, the soprano notes, they will not be ugly if you play them stronger. Yes, yes. Just a little thing. Don't don't change the pedal so soon. We have th this. Yeah, good. Yes, yes. And it's just a little thing. This. That's an unusual figure, isn't it? What would you expect instead of that? Play, play what you would expect. Or did you not ever think about that? It's just, it, 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 it is what it is. Don't you think... That's, uh, that's, what, that's what he even writes here, right? This is a little bit unusual. We want to hear it played beautifully. Um, and uh, the way you played it, I have to say, it sounds a little bit like, oh God, I have to play this turn, I don't know, I don't know. Um, oh well. <laughs> uh, uh, every, everything in music, almost everything in music is some kind of opportunity to, to make the music more beautiful. Uh, it's, uh, I can't tell you how many times I have done what I'm telling you not to do. They think, oh, God, I have to somehow get it, I have to fit all those notes in. Uh, let me practice faster. No, everything is, is, everything is there to be more wonderful, to be more um, uh, expressive, more meaningful. Uh, so you, you look at that uh, uh, just like anything else, as an opportunity. From there, da, 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 de, da, da. Yeah, yeah. Expressive. Good, much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the phrase the phrase goes on to the and then this special phrase. Do you know do you know the story about this? Maybe not. Um, the, he originally wrote this piece as a tribute to Beethoven that was supposed to be uh, connected with a, 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 a monument being erected to Beethoven. And uh, this theme comes from uh, a, uh, a, a, song, a song cycle of Beethoven to the immortal beloved. Wait a second, I don't have that right. Anyway, it's a, a, um, on, the, on, the, on the far away love. Um, and uh, he uses it, it's, it, you hardly even notice it in Beethoven's song. Somehow uh, Schumann noticed it and, it and it moved him terrifically. Uh, but here, where, where, he, where it really has a focus, <laughs> And how 
it sounds, it sounds comforting. It sounds, don't cry. Things will be okay. Not quite what we thought. Always think what did we expect. Right? We didn't, ex we didn't expect a rest on the first beat, and we didn't expect a seventh in that chord. Uh, uh, those, those things that the, the com now, did Schumann do that on purpose? Yes, of course. Uh, and, and is that, therefore, part of the music? The things that we expect are, in a strange way, part of the music. And they are there to be altered or changed or uh, postponed. Uh, so, uh, and just, just to, make, to say it in one more way and to make sure that people understand. This rest here, is that, do we expect that? No, of course not, of course not. Shake your head like that. Yeah. I thought you understood that chord. You, you played it pretty, but uh, think about it. What, how it, it comes as, as, as part of a statement. Repeated Henderson. Uh, all, all, all music, it's, 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 made, it's made that way. It's uh, filled with, with um, uh, filled with expectations. It's filled, it's filled with the sounds, and they create in, our, in us uh, expectations. Usually those expectations are fulfilled. Sometimes it goes a different way. And the composer is always managing that stuff. Um, yeah, let me hear from here. Um, yeah, let me hear from here. It, it, it doesn't. It doesn't accumulate very well. Um, uh, forte, yes, but you know you have a long way to go here. You better be careful about about this because each one of them has to be exciting again. We're listening. If you hear ba bum ba bum, ba bum ba bum, ba bum ba bum, that's not going to work, right? So it has to be all the time mounting. Um, and it keeps on go it keeps on going here he marks piano here he marks fortissimo and it's hard to make it even that small a crescendo it's so gigantic so let me hear from here again and uh, easy with the first fort forte or two
lot softer. was more like it. That was pretty good. Um, now, you know, Schumann was more or less a fan of the metronome. Uh, uh, nobody is a complete fan of the metronome. But. but but when you find in, in a proper edition of Schumann, you will find lots of metronome marks. And they really are metronome marks from Robert Schumann. So I want you to play here. Now, uh, uh, and of course, now you, you just got to the place where he writes retard. And we have, to, we have to have a flexible tempo just the way we usually play music. Um, uh, and you don't have to play exactly that tempo, but it's very, very important to consult it. I'm not, in, I'm not uh, accusing you of not consulting it, but it somehow it didn't sound to me like you had paid a lot of attention to that. Um, so uh, all, always, always do that. Um, I think we pretty much have to stop because we have one more person to hear. Um, oh, I was, I was going to uh, make a, a sort of a, a real problem for you. You, you, who are playing the Schumann fantasy, no less, you have to be able to control two against three. Uh, the rhythm. So, uh, um, play, for, play from there, and don't play too much rubato, and don't play too much retard. Try to play the, the rhythm accurately. Yeah, you see, you, uh, um, I, I was pretty sure that I would hear that. You, you have not figured out how that rhythm goes. I, I think that you have something in your mind, something like, and it's not, it's, Can you do that? Just right, right, right where I was playing. It's easiest that way. Closer, closer. Uh, but you, you need really to work on that because you need to have truly uh, uh, complete control of the rhythm so that you can play beautifully. So that uh, you can. Now, three against four is, uh, is a little different from two against three. I, I was going to say it's harder, but it's not really harder. It's just different. Um, uh, so uh, get comfortable with the, with the rhythm the way it really, uh, the way it really uh, uh, is mathematically. We don't play music mathematically, and that will be uh, no exception, but we in order to know what the rhythm is uh, in a piece, we, we have to be able to play it in time. And on top of that comes, come the little modifications from rubato and from retardandos and, and, and all of that. Um, this, I think, is too fast. Um, well, 
Why don't you play uh, uh, from here to the end? Breathe. Yeah. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, go on. Yeah, which note is which note is important in here? In the right hand. E. Yes. Yes, so let me hear the E more clearly. It's not where the listener is expecting it. Good. Wait, 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 wait. And then this, yeah, go on. C, yeah. You, you have to be sure that that comes out. Okay?
okay, you, you play very well. Um, now, you know, um, there's a lot of music that just sounds, it sounds very simple, and yet somehow people have found that they were, that they fell in love with it and they wanted to hear it over and over again. They wanted to learn it, they wanted to record it, they wanted to hear it all the time. Uh, do you like this piece? It doesn't sound like it. Um, you, uh, um, We all uh, know most easily of all uh, about the problems uh, of, of technical, technical problems. Uh, that I have to play faster, I have to play more evenly, I have to play more accurately. All, you, you under, you, are you understanding what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. Um, and we work on that a lot. Um, I think that there are a lot of people who would play this piece either because their teacher told them to. Yeah, was this assigned to you or was it your choice? It was your choice. What do you like about it? Okay, I, I, I agree with that. That's a good, that's a good answer. Um, uh, but I think that in order to make the, the beauty of this music, which you love, in order to make it come out, you really need, it's not even studying, it's not even practicing. You need to really uh, uh, take the music into your heart and you need to um, you need to listen. The simplest way to say it, and it's a little funny thing to say, but you have to listen between the notes. It doesn't sound like you're really listening between the notes. It sounds like you, there's, there's this, and there's this. Uh, you play better than that, obviously. Uh, but uh, but I'm, not he I'm not hearing, I'm not hearing a, a, a real life in the music. Um, could you please, um, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll start right at the beginning. Play slowly like that, uh, 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 not, uh, not a, uh, uh, have it a free tempo, but, but slow as I did now. Your tempo, by the way, is okay. I, uh, I, we're working slowly now. Um, would, uh, have you studied any theory at all? Uh, yeah. Harmony and... Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. Well, can you, can you sort of agree with me that this is an interesting change from the, the F has been sharped and it makes it sound interesting. It, this is he, It's not that much different, but what he wrote is very beautiful. And what I just played is kind of dumb. Uh, an interesting chord to start a piece. A long work, and it starts with this augmented triad. Really quite beautiful. Um, st uh, start and listen to the F sharp, and then, and then let it move. 
and listen to the F sharp moving to the G. Do you understand me? You can try. Yes, yes, yes. Do you realize how much more beautifully you played now than before? Yes. Uh, now, of course, beauty really, it only happens there. And if you don't do anything different, nothing different comes out. But why did you do it different? Because you were listening. Because you were listening and really into the... Now, it's... It's maddening that we, as musicians, this is what we do. We are musicians. And then we practice and practice and practice and practice. And we get on the stage, and we're so busy, filled, our minds are so filled with practicing, that we forget to listen. Um, and when I say listen, I, I'm not just saying you have to listen to, that it's even and that it is the right tempo and that it is this. No, you have to. Your heart, you, you, you listen in order, you open your ears for the music to flood into your heart. Uh, now, I want you to, you did fine, but I want to just, just point out another thing that you might have thought of or not. I want you to um, play here. B flat, and I want you to play B flat here. You understand? It's, of course, not as good as Schumann's, but I, I want you to hear it that way. It's very simple, and I want them to hear it too. Yeah, play it. Okay, very, very straightforward music, isn't it? Very lovely. Do it again. Slow. Yeah, OK, OK. Now, it's not too bad, but it doesn't sound as good as Schumann's, right? When you play now with Schumann's version, you'll be happy, right? <laughs> so, and they will too, and I will too. So uh, enjoy the fact that this, this chord now, in Schumann's version, is not simple. This is an emotionally little more complicated thing, OK? The same way as the, the first chord, uh, uh, it, has, it has F sharps instead of F naturals, would have been so natural. So listen to the, listen to the um, uh, the, the special strangeness of this chord and listen to the special strangeness of that chord. The rest of it is equally beautiful, but reasonable. Right? Okay, so let me hear it. Strange chord. Yes, OK, OK. Uh, do remember that sometimes these are tied and sometimes they're not tied. He, he, he wants you to do that. Um, yeah, now, what I thought you did it quite beautifully. The next problem is even really, in a way, the worst. And it's still talking about the same thing. You did it very well. But practicing it more is not necessarily going to make it better. In fact, it might make it harder for you to find. You need to keep on renewing your feelings about the, the, the beauty of these chords. Take them. Uh, I, I asked you to play uh, different chords from what he wrote. 
I, I, I suppose that you understand the reason. Because those were the, the, the sort of the, the, basic, the very basic uh, shape that the music came from. And uh, this is, it's sort of like the, the soup without any seasoning. And then Schumann's version with uh, the, just the right, just, just the right con. Uh, Okay, um, let, let me hear this. Uh, you have to have pedal here. This, this, this didn't sound well at all. Um, start somewhere around here. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. And uh, we, we really can't afford to slow down quite as much as that. Um, uh, for something like this, where the composer writes retard, and even if the composer had not written retard, we would know we needed to slow down. Did you ever play this passage completely straight with no retard? No. Why? You see, you, uh, you, you, you need to, f to find your way down into the simpler uh, and more straightforward uh, music. Be because uh, what we get from the great composers is the surface. All of the, the uh, uh, wonderful... Um, uh, sophisticated and expressive and unusual details that they wanted in there. Lying underneath those, lying underneath those are the more basic sort of, uh, um, it's just the, just the music, so just... these altered chords, they, when you play, we all know that, that it goes there. Then we have, oh, 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 oh my, oh my. You know, uh, these, these feelings, they, they, come, they come up each time you hear this music and you, 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 need, to, you need to get fully acquainted with those feelings. Get very comfortable with them. Uh, so when I'm, uh, uh, now I, I, I had you play those, those things now. Um, I want you to promise me, a serious promise, that you will play it with those simplified ways some of the time in your practicing and that you will listen to the difference in feelings. OK? That's the easy part of your assignment. You just have to do it. The other thing is you need to listen in other places in the music where you, uh, you realize that there are surprises. Uh, uh, the first surprise that I can think of right now um, is here, um, you realize when Schumann has you play, what do we expect here? Surely your ear will tell you that that is the chord that should come there.
and you, you need an, a, a good listener of music, even if they never heard this, if they've heard lots of classical music, they recognize what I'm telling you. Um, and uh, uh, they, may not, they, they may not know the theory to, to, uh, in order to label it all, but they realize when they hear... Uh, <laughs> That this is strange and advanced and new harmony use. Uh, so I want you to explore all of those places. Uh, change this, this uh, E-flat minor to E-flat major and invent some ending the way I did. You see, you, you really, really need to be able to do these, these things. If you're not really able to do these things, maybe you're not quite ready for the piece. Um, can I hear from here? We, we'll, we'll stop in a moment. But um, Well, let's see. No, I think I think I'll have you uh, play from here. Ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is this does this feel a little bit like a celebration? You understand celebration? Yes. Yeah. Well, you sound okay. Well, we're going to have a celebration now. <laughs> uh, I hope that everybody will have a really wonderful time. So play it, play it like you mean it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 he doesn't put. A, he doesn't write a fermata, but you need a little bit of a fermata, just a little bit. Okay, start from here now. Yeah. Uh, um, do you want a crescendo there? I don't think so. I think you're making a crescendo because the left hand is a little difficult. Don't, don't let that happen. Um, the music is, is impatient, uh, uh, seems to be joyously waiting for something. So try, uh, try, uh, not not slower than that. Yeah, can you not play that so loud? Good, it's better. No, it was loud again. It was loud again. Don't do that. Yeah. Uh, so, why, what are you going to do? You, you. Uh, first of all, you have to not accent the bottom of the. It's, it's, it's the C that is doing it. The other thing is, if you don't play here so soft, if you don't play so soft here, it'll be easier to play the right dynamic here. You understand? Bum ba dum bum ba dum bum ba dum bum bum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see. When, when, you, when you hear that something is not so good, you have to fix it, and you have to fix it now. Um, uh, you hear it, and oh, well, I don't know. I, I don't know how to do that. Figure it out. One more time. Sing, sing, sing. Sing, sing the right hand. Yeah, a little, a little, a little more, a little more pedal. I can't hear. Yeah, uh, uh, the 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 left hand may look a little bit more like a melody, but the right hand is tracing that same melody. So we we need the right hand. Okay, again from from there. Yeah, yeah. Pedal, uh, a little touch of pedal, touch of pedal, touch of pedal, touch of pedal. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, this was piano and this is forte. I can hear almost no difference. Um, from, well, th th there, that'll be fine. Forte again. bit the sound can be can be wonderful here use a little more pedal and you'll hear a better sound try it there no no not not like that i know it's piano you play 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 it out tom pa pom Okay, from, from here again, and these these triplets are sounding so boring somehow. Let let them let them bunch together. Okay, the right hand is even so, is now still too loud. Uh, the, uh, this is really difficult. Uh, did you, when you got here to pianissimo, did you put the soft pedal on? No. Why? Okay. Why? You have, to, you have to play as soft as possible. And you're not really helping yourself. I, what I'm really trying to show you is that you're not, using your whole mind and your whole soul to make music as well as possible. You're trying to be an obedient student, and that's just not enough. It just isn't enough. Okay? okay. All right.